Hey guys, I am here with the new Z from Nissan and I have a special guest to help me walk it through. Hi, I'm Sean Lee from the Purist Group, also a big diehard Nissan Z enthusiast. I'm glad to walk you guys through this brand new Z that's coming out, which is, I absolutely love it. Let me tell you guys why. So let's talk about the front grille of the car. So you notice that this is a tribute car to the early 240Z. The shape of it, even the lump on the hood, and also the grille area. When you actually ever buy this car, try not to touch the grill because the grill serves as actually a vortex generator to create. When the air hits this part of the grill, you're actually generating more air into the engine to help the cooling. So Nissan did a lot of little things like this, a lot of Easter egg into the car and to make you like really appreciate it. So now after the grill, you know, it's a tribute to the older 240Z, not just the nose, the hood. Let's talk about the headlight. Most people notice the eyebrow in here. Why is this an eyebrow? If you look back early 240Z, there's a special edition called a Genos. And when, when at nighttime, when this eyebrow shows, it creates a halo that makes looks like the early 240Zs with a Genos and the headlight reflects onto the, the, the glass of the, of the, of the Genos uh, 240Zs. So before we go inside, let's go to the back of it. And uh, the person who designed this car is actually a uh, Hiroshi Tamura-san and uh, also Alfonso. They're also my very close friend. They try when they create this Z for for from Nissan. They call this a love letter from Z from Nissan to the enthusiasts in the world because it's the last car. I want to say the last car. Pretty much a, a Z that's come with a twin turbo V6, 400 horsepower engine, made it to a six-speed transmission, which is most enthusiasts love so much because you get to control your car in your hand. Um, this is a very unique color. This is called a proto color, and they're only going to make 240 of this car in the world and uh, as, a long, as a launch edition. But there's a uniqueness about this caliber being yellow. People say, you could go red, you could go white, you could go, why you do yellow? Because this caliber color is the only color able to withstand the heat over a thousand degrees. That's why they choose the yellow calibers. And the uh, wheels are forged wheels from one of the very famous company called Race. They also owns Volk Racing and uh, Yokohama Wheels and a bunch of other wheel company. They're probably one, and also they build Formula One wheels. And uh, they building this wheel for the new Z. It's a forged wheel, as you can tell right here. And uh, let's go back a little bit towards the back of it. So the tail light, this Z has all the feature from the past Z. One of the Z that I like the most is 300Z Extreme Turbo. And they use this headlights on a 300Z Extreme Turbo to put it on this. So, so you get to see a little bit here and there and here and there from different era of Z to create this new Z for us. The reason, the reason why there's actually a silver section over here on the roof line, and he also makes the roof line look a little thinner. See that? So it doesn't make the car look bulky. But this is a resemblance of a samurai sword. So Z was created as a JDM car into the, into the foreign car world as their product to battle against the world. So it's kind of cool to be a samurai sword to create that Japanese, uh, you know, the eagle and the heritage. It's kind of cool. <laughs> so um, let's go to the uh, inside a little bit. You have the tail light, you have the rear end. Um, this color is a little hard to see, but if you come to this angle, you get to see the, the, the roof line and the flare out and towards the rear section of the car. And, uh, you know, very elegantly done. So let's go to the inside. Again, they keep the tradition of the three analog gauges right here. Uh, and of course, six speed manual transmissions and, you know, touch screen, the new steering wheel. The steering wheel and the steering rack are very special. They just not, a lot of people think it's the same car as the 370Z. Uh, not necessarily 100% right because a lot of components on there. I would say I think about 90% to 95% of the components are actually brand new. Uh, steering rack is actually a faster steering rack compared to uh, early 370Z steering racks. And uh, brand new uh, center display, TFT display. And uh, you know, the seats are very, very, you basically buy in this car, you go to track days, you really don't need to buy a new seat anymore. And as for me, I'm six foot one and I sit inside a car. And uh, as you, as you can, can tell, if when you adjust the seats properly, it's actually the, the power seats right here. And I can actually comfortably drive in this car, still have a, at least one fifth of, uh, of a clearance. Uh, compared to a lot of current 
other sports car, you don't have that. So the roof line is actually really, really, you have a really, really good clearance, you know. And uh, of course, you're not wearing helmet in the car. You can be six foot two, six foot three, and still very comfortable. As you can tell, there's plenty of leg rooms. You know, that makes it very comfortable GT for you to drive on an everyday basis. And also, this is very important. A lot of New York cars are trying to make the, the lines much more slim. So they had the roof line actually cut into your vision. So I'm six foot one. I drive this. If you look over my 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 my, my view is still very clear to my, to my blind spot. So this is a good thing. A lot of people they build GT cars right now. They're trying to make the car look great from the outside, but in and out the roof line cuts you right here. <laughs> so guess what? You're driving the car. You have to go like this and drive it. <laughs> it totally kills the driving experience, and uh, I don't like that. This car is very comfortable, and surprisingly for a sports car, it's very interesting. Cup holder here, cup holder here, cup holder here. Right. <laughs> Then got a nice little trunk area, put your stuff in there, and there's um, a place for your cell phone here. It's it, it's a really cool GT car you can travel around and take on a long distance trip with you. For me personally, I like this car a lot because I think for the starting price, right around thirty nine thousand dollars or forty thousand dollars, it's a lot of value for the car because they build they so they build a car like this, right? They take a pretty much a bulletproof engine that's been around for a while and they twin turbo it for you and toss in the manual six speed and the factory warranty from Nissan, you know, they haul out a car for you and sell it to you for less than 40 grand. <laughs> you know, 400 horsepower car or after the shell and excellent handling continue from, you know, 350Z, 370Z. So you know there's plenty of aftermarket parts you can put on there and make this car even better, even faster. A lot of people on the aftermarket section, they're pushing about 500 to 600 horsepower off this motor right now, reliably. It comes with timing chain instead of timing belt. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's really, really good package they put in there. And uh, chassis stiffness, come with factory actually a strut power bar to stiffen up the chassis even more to handle the power. And that's a big plus. And the uh, Nissan did a lot. Again, this is not exactly the same engine as the the Infinity engine, people think they're exactly the same, but they're not. They actually put a lot of stuff internally to improve the power on this, improve the throttle response, and and to make this engine to fit the character of the Z instead of the, the Q50. Remember, the Q50 is basically, Infinity base, is based on a luxury sedan platform, a luxury coupe platform. This is the GT car. They want to make it more fun, make more engine more alive when you drive it, and uh, so you'll feel more engaged. Uh, this is one of the cars I, you know, again, I'm not trying to sell cars, but I just love cars. And I'm glad I got involved a lot on this car. And they really put a lot of really, really top end stuff on here. It's basically, I hope Nissan don't lose money selling this, but, but it, you know, like aluminum hood and Akibono brake, these are kind of things, you know. So let's go to the back, check it out. The rear end is very special. You guys already know about the 300ZX tail lights. To tribute to the OZ, ta da! So the reason why people ask, like, why is this one not called 400Z or whatever, 450Z, whatever they want to call it? Because this is a tribute letter, like I said, from Nissan. Nissan's tribute love letter to all the enthusiasts in the world. So they think it's proper to just have the Z name. That's it. It doesn't talk about the horsepower. It's about 400, 300 numbers. It has no meaning anymore. The real meaning is Z. So see that the logo stand for itself. Up the trunk. The biggest problem with a lot of current GT car right now is trunk space. Because I had a certain car before and you cannot put anything in there. So this is actually, take a look at it, it's actually pretty good. The depth of the trunk, nice and big, okay? You can actually put a golf club here sideways, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of GT car right now, if you try it, uh, might not be able to. So again, don't forget, keep this car in mind. This is a $40,000 car and there's not a $300,000, $400,000 or $80,000 car. Nissan's really offering a lot of stuff for $40,000. I want to walk you guys really quick about the interior uh, fit and finish a little bit too. So, um, you walk around here. People say $40,000 car, what's the interior is going to be? So, soft touch panel. Okay. And then, this is a uh, uh, Alcantara suede uh, uh, side bolster with padding. Look at this. Nice padding over here. Okay. And then, also soft touch dash. Okay. So interior interior quality is really really good, and the seats are of course really nice poster and uh, very comfortable and look how beautiful it's the contrast of the color and the 
So this car is one of those cars I'm very looking forward to in uh, 2022. And uh, March, April, I think they're going to be doing delivery. I can't wait to get on my, get, get, get my car. So that's basically uh, <laughs> um, the story with the Nissan Z. Hope you guys like it.